guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna do a, um, I wouldn't say a box opening necessarily, but uh, more of what's inside the box. And uh, it's gonna be this one here, this thing that weighs a ton. Commands in Color Ancient. Uh, this is put out by GMT. Richard uh, Borg is the designer on that. Um, this has 10 epic battles of Romans versus the Carthaginians. And um, really a fun system and an easy system to learn. And my son and I, are, we're going through all of the scenarios now, so we're just having a good time with it. But um, I'm gonna show you what's inside the box, but I'm also gonna show you what I did inside the box to organize it and to get those pieces uh, so that they're easy to um, select and pull out rather than just pull them all out from one giant bag of blocks. So let's look inside and see what's inside. Okay, so Command in Color Ancients, I'm sure you've seen plenty of box openings. This game has been around a very long time. Uh, this is the 2021 uh, edition, and it's the seventh printing of this game. So very, very popular game. On the back, it shows some of the pieces that you have, the stickers, um, the wooden pieces, the cards, content. you got a battle for the game map, three sheets of... Um, terrain tile overlays, uh, 60 command cards, 345 gray, dark brown, and black blocks, five sheets of units uh, labeled to affix to the block, two player reference cards, one rule book and one scenario book, and seven battle dice, custom dice. Medium level, uh, ages 14 and above, two players, playing time about one hour. And again, the game design, Richard Borg. So let's look inside and see what's in here. Now, again, I've modified this quite a bit. It's a heavy duty box, but uh, I have the rules on top here. And this is 23 pages of uh, rules here. And it, it goes in depth on the command cards on each of the um, tiles, the uh, terrain tiles there. It talks about the leaders and all of that and it gives you special movements and it shows you examples of the retreats, of the attacks, all of that. Close combat, battles, range combat, movement, game sequence, and setting up the game. Here is the first couple pages showing you how to affix the uh, stickers to the different blocks, wooden blocks. Scenario here, uh, we have a number of scenarios inside the book here, and it gives you your setup and your units that are there. Gives you uh, what are the requirements to victory, and it's basically grabbing banners most of the time. And banners are when you destroy other units in the map. Now, it, it has four blocks for each group of units, and um, once the, all four are eliminated, you get a banner. Uh, they have the same attack strength, whether it's one, two, three, or four units in there. Uh, it just, you know, allows you more damage. So each unit you have four damage, except for the cav cavalry, I believe it's three on that. And uh, same way with the chariots. Chariots might be two. Um, but there's a setup in the different uh, scenarios. Player aid cards, they're identical. Um, you're gonna refer to this a lot on the player aids. Uh, and you get through most of the game just by referring to these cards right here, uh, I found out. So it's, it's a relatively easy game. So here we have our map and you see that I have a little bit different here the way that I have it arranged out. So the map is uh has hexes on them and they're they don't have anything on them because they do have the terrain and we won't look at that so much i mean it looks exactly the same all the way across there so it's it's a decent sized map i can't remember the exact size but what i did was i made um boxes for everything so here are all the overlays the um, tile overlays here and uh so all of these, I should show you, have a hole in the bottom there so that you can just press, press it up and pull out your tiles. Now these tiles are used to uh, create terrain on the map because the map is very plain, so the tiles create terrain. And I had to 
designed this so that these fit around here because I had to have a place for the map to fit into. So that's why these are on their side here. So this one and this one is on the side. And again, it's another one that has cutouts in the bottom. And this is uh, the elephants, leaders, chariots, and the dice. And then these are your banners that you collect uh, for winning the game. And, you know, it is kind of easy because you can just push out how many leaders you need, you know, one, two, or, you know, just uh, hold everything over and dump out whatever you need. If you need all the elephants, you just hold all that and dump it out. So I do have the cavalry here. And I think this is the Romans. It's Romans and Carthians uh, cavalry, part of them, are all right here. And again, you can push out from the bottom to get them out. And then we have the Roman infantry. And all of them there had some extra, so I just made some extra slots in case I ever add anything to it. But uh, these are all the Romans and they're all divided up and they're in stacks of four which is what you use so again you can just push out four of them i also have slots on the side so you just put a, a pair of tweezers in there and just slide up whatever you need out of there and again these blocks come unlabeled these are the labels down at the bottom you have to label all them so it does take some time and this a little bit tighter and the carthagens the carthians these are the Carthians and there's their cavalry and there's a little bit left a little bit in the other one, but they have a lot of cavalry and uh, then all of their soldiers here. And again, I got all the soldiers divided up so it's easy to find the one that you need uh, when you're playing the game. And last but not least, the command cards. And uh, I made this so that this could either be the stack that you draw from or the discard stack if you want to put it back into. And uh, Again, you can press it up or, or just slide them out right here or this way. So all the command cards there. And at the bottom here, you see these are some extra stickers for the blocks uh, that I did not use. Put this in here correctly. And had some extra room there that you could, you know, put it, whatever you need to put in down there. And all of this fits in the box. I measured so that everything fits in the box nice and flat. So that when you close the box, everything is there. So that was my box opening and my modification of Commands and Colors Ancient. A game by Richard Pork, put out by GMT. And uh, if you don't have this game, definitely well worth getting. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching.